and I was just, oh, oh, oh. What up guys? We're going for another first today. Possibly a world's first, possibly YouTube's first. Maybe not first at all, because I haven't really gone digging. <laughs> We're gonna be throwing this micro rod. That's what I'm talking about. With a bait caster though. Something you can get excited about. I went trout fishing with the bait caster, but I used it on a regular sized rod. I don't think anybody's dumb enough to try and use a bait caster on a micro rod, except for maybe me. I think it's just a recipe for a backlash, but I've got the uh, digital cast reel which I've been finding helps prevent those quite frequently. Super windy. So I got a little crankbait tied on here. That's my skateboard Ugh, that I just dropped. And anyways, it's the KVD 1.0 and it's more yellow than the last one I had, which I kind of think I preferred. It was like a greenish and uh, off green. This one's more strictly chartreuse with a dark green back, but uh, we're just going with the flow. Dang, the water has risen here. It's like 1.30 in the afternoon. I don't know if we're gonna catch a dang thing, guys, but we're gonna throw this thing. We're making this a challenge video, because I, like I said, never seen it done. Let's go ahead and get to it. Okay, so the main thing I'm concerned about is everything. Casting into the wind. I feel like I should go to the other side. But then again, maybe not. Oh my goodness, it's breezy, if y'all can't tell. And we're about to cast into the wind with a flimsy rod. This is, like I say, a recipe for a backlash. And this isn't a, by the way, this isn't a casting reel. It's just a micro setup for those small spinning, uh, spinning reels that you would see like at Walmart. I think the whole combo was like 20 bucks. Uh, and so I took the spinning reel off and I just put the Scorpion digital cast control reel on there. I really think this is doable. So let's see. First of all, get these fresh crankbait hooks off of here because I just bought this thing. And uh, yeah, don't try this at home, folks. Now look at that, what a breeze. Oh, oh my, oh, no, sh dude, shut the <laughs> Are you kidding me? First cast, you are joking. How am I gonna get this guy out of the water? This rod can't even hold up. Oh my gosh, first cast. Dudes, you, it's like a two. It's a two plus. You're joking. Oh my gosh, fresh off the board. Oh, fresh off the board. I guess this color's not bad. I guess the wind's on our side. I guess the water rising's okay. I guess the scale would be nice. Where's the pliers? See, 1.30 in the afternoon. Just go and get out there and catch some fish, guys, because so many people think they're limited and they can only catch them in the morning or only catch them in the evening. We like to catch them 24 seven. That's the funnest time to catch fish. Dag nabbit. I, how could this have gone any better? Probably if I could get this thing out of his lips, dude, he tore this thing up. Am I recording right now? Everything's going so good, I feel like something's gotta be going wrong. Ah, there it goes. And I wasn't even gonna bring the scale because I was thinking this is just a lost cause on the way over here. Not really, I, I was optimistic. Cautiously optimistic, as they say in investing world, right? Zero pounds, zero ounces. All right, what are you? I know you're two. Two and, if I can just get this thing to freaking work. Okay, here we go, y'all. Look at that, look at that. Look at that, still adjusting. Two pounds, four ounces. Get the heck out of here. No, no way. Gotta be freaking joking. How can I get a picture of me with the fish and the micro rod and the reel? All right, he's been out of the water long enough. Let's get him back in there, but first cast, can you believe it? <sighs> Go ahead. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ridiculous. This one's going down in the history books. Look at this, look at this. Try not to laugh right now. Was that not the funniest thing you've ever seen? On a brand new, brand new, never, never use this color crankbait. Look, here, we'll just, we'll bring it down to our level, to GoPro eye level. Look at, never used this color before. My last one was a little bit more green. If I'm not mistaken, this one is like solid yellow. Uh, and once again, I'm using the Scorpion reel. And look at how flimsy this rod tip is, like boom. Like it's just, it's so flimsy. I just assumed, like if I was using any one of my other reels, I would have just gotten a backlash on that first cast because uh, now I gotta fix, golly. See, this is what happens when you talk a big game. All right, I think we're in the clear. 
but since luck is clearly on our side we're going two for two dude look at that distance i'm halfway across the pond with a flimsy uh like three and a half foot rod <laughs> is that not ridiculous and i was just oh 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 two for two dudes he's been in that bed. <laughs> he's been in the rod how am i even getting the hook set ridiculous oh my god it's another two plus i swear it's the same fish <laughs> it's the same freaking fish no freaking way oh <sighs> The hook's got him right where I'd ideally like to grab on, grab on to him. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this, get that out of there. Now grab this and, uh, and go for this. I just said, let's go for two, two for two. Uh, it's a weird day, folks. It's a weird day on the water. This is, um, he's potentially like, I, I'm feeling two pounds, five ounces. I think he's one more ounce. I think he's one more ounce. Let's let that recalibrate. So it's reset. It's on zero. Well, now it says quarter ounce. Okay. It's reset. I'm thinking two pounds, five. Nope, 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 nope. Wow. Two pounds, six ounces. He's a little bit bigger. Oh my gosh. Back to back twos. Golly, who cares about the wind noise at this point, right? <laughs> Too entertaining, baby. Two twos, two twos, two twos. Got to be kidding. All right, let's turn the scale off. And I didn't even get this on the big camera. What an idiot, I'm so excited that I'm not even getting this on the big camera. But let me tell you what, I think they're on a frenzy right now. So I'll get the next one on the big camera and I'm thinking it's gonna be a three. Okay, oh, almost slipped. It's muddy because y'all, it just rained. That's why the water's higher. Like normally, we're able to walk out here, but the uh, water level's really high from the other day. It rained a lot. We had a snowy mixture kind of and melted and thus the pond is higher. Um, I found out the secret. Instead of casting right to left, cast overhead. I think that's, I think that's what does it. And like I said, this rod is not made for uh, bait casters. It's made for um, spinning setups. Okay, couldn't go three for three. I'm almost in shock. But it doesn't have the little extension right here for your fingers to grab onto. So if the right fish grabs a hold of this thing, it could potentially rip it right out of my hands. I think I'm in the tree. Oh, totally in the tree. That's not good with a crankbait. Y'all know that. Let me try and wiggle them out. Okay, cool. Got it. I'm feeling better about this color each and every cast. Oh, there he is. There he is, boys. Now, look, at, look at that fighter right there. There's number three. Tiniest one so far. <clears throat> Still a healthy, healthy pound and a half right here. I'm making money moves. All right, we're going for the pliers. That's a done deal. Shit. Number three, this is something else, y'all. Crazy. <laughs> Who would have thought, right? Let's get him back in the water. Oh, oh, no, the water, buddy. The water. Daniel, son, what is you doing, buddy? <laughs> okay, thinking of making the switch to that side because it's a little easier to cast. And uh, I don't want to be running back over here every two seconds through all this crap. Well, as quick as they came, they all decided to leave, I guess. I don't know, man. But that's okay, because I feel like we got super lucky right off the start anyways. Check out the setup today, guys. Look at this little micro rod. <laughs> it's literally from here to here. <laughs> if you guys are curious about this exact setup, I'm going to link it down in the description below. Uh, it's a totally killer setup. This reel is very expensive. The rod is next to nothing. So you can look at the Scorpion DC reel in some of my other videos. It's definitely worth the money. I love it. Shimano is a fantastic company. The digital cast control is simply amazing. Literally, as you cast it, it's applying braking and it applies a little bit more as the distance goes on based on the weight of the lure you're throwing with it. And I've just got it on automatic mode. You don't even have to fiddle with the brakes like a lot of bait casters. It's a lot easier to cast than most of them, especially with a, light, a lighter crankbait 
or any lighter lure such as this where you'd normally run into issues. Every fish you catch on this setup is so much fun because the rod's bent at like 180 degrees and you're just like looking like <laughs> you've got a 10 pounder on the hook. It's pretty funny. And of course you're not getting your little indention right here on the rod because normally on a casting setup you would get that so you can actually get your hands on there and have a little bit better of a grip but uh, just hold on to it. You know how bad can it get? I didn't go out looking to see if anyone had done this before but uh, the bait caster on the mic reel rod is really a fantastic thing. I'm using bright green 30 pound braided line guys and I use a sharpie to color the last about four feet of it uh, black that way the fish don't see the line. Just comment down below if you want to see me do more videos like this and I definitely will because it was something else. Uh, we caught three fish in the first 20 minutes and then another hour catching nothing but I could care less man. So guys do me a quick favor if you're new to the channel and you like this video click on my smiling face right over here holding that big old three pounder. Subscribe to the channel and click that notifications bell. Join the notification squad guys so you actually get the alerts on your phone when I post these new videos scope out these videos right over here and right down there peace out <laughs>